Welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Welcome to Crystal Talks. Yay! Wow. Um, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful crystal. Um, I can't, I should have looked it up. I think I, I always get it wrong anyway. So I call it, um, oh, fucking hell, I can't remember. Did I just swear then? <laughs> Drop the F-bomb. Hemimorphite, something like that. Um, but anyway, look at it, because this is the important bit. Look at that. Look at the beautiful color of that. Kind of looks like um, a turquoise, right? It kind of looks like uh, Larry Ma. Um, and I think it has been mistaken for Larry Ma in the past. I have actually, many, many years ago, I bought some thinking it was Larry Ma, but it's not. I think they call it, I think, I remember when I bought some a while ago from uh, a dear friend of mine, and he called it Chinese Larry Ma, I think. I think. I can't, I, I, it was such a, a long time ago, but it's lovely to have it back again. I love working with it. There are some beautiful qualities about this crystal that I love. Not only the deepness of the colour, but oh, the, the, the feel of it. It just feels absolutely gorgeous when you wear it. Can you see? Yeah. Gorgeous. Um, Siberia. Um, gosh. <laughs> Can't remember. Uh, I think it's, I, I could be actually wrong again um, where this comes from, but yeah, it's beautiful. I think somewhere like Romane, something like that. Anyway, I can't remember, but there's a few places I bought it from. So it's come from all over the place. So, um, I'm gonna get this wrong, but maybe Sardinia, no. I can't remember. I can't remember where it's from. I, I even think I might have had some from uh, uh, America, I think. It's not Mon Montana. I think, anyway, I can't remember. You guys will probably know far more than me about this. But this crystal, when I got it, was different from this. This is like, um, uh, a kind of, I don't know, it, it, it just feels so different in the sense that mine was more kind of natural, this is more polished and it, it felt like it had a uh, bubble, it felt bubbly, um, but yeah, these are absolutely beautiful, I absolutely love them, gorgeous, what are the kind of energies that you feel from it? There are a number of energies that, when I worked with this crystal, it helped. Um, you see, the blue always helps you flow, but there's something special about this one, which is more about belief. There's trust involved, belief, having a new outlook in life in a belief. I don't wanna use the word hope, but it's like you feel like something is gonna happen, something's coming. There's like a calmness, an inner calmness. Point about this crystal, ADHD and uh, one where I had a client with Tourette's, this calmed them down, really calmed them down. So it's it's a great crystal to help just, just calm you down. You feel, oh, feel better. Chest wise, um, there's something about breathing. There's something about the breath work when I used it on the chest that made them breathe easier. So there's a there's a lovely feel of breath and and um, mind issues, brain issues. You've got issues in the brain. It calms it down and just like oh, it's good. And you'll feel it when you wear it. It'll hit your crown chakra. You'll feel it on top and you'll feel a buzzing sensation. And it's like wow, that feels good. Um, great for addiction because it really calms you down from wanting to rush into things. So that's something it's really important. Uh, biggest thing for this crystal, overcoming uh, death, I think. I used to um, work with this crystal 
on clients who were going through terrible pain of grief. So overcoming death was that. And it all related to clearing the, the, the head. And the picture I always see when I think about this crystal, when I lay on the client's um, third eye, crown chakra, heart, is a, a, a silhouette of somebody's head on fire. I don't know why, but I've always had that wow something's happening and when i say on fire it's it's cleaning cleansing awakening it's really beautiful so that's it really i think you know trust faith balance calmness all of those feelings are, are absolutely amazing when you wear it i just sat with it like 10 minutes ago just sat there with it and just the calmness of it is incredible it really is and the breath the way you breathe, it's like it helps you breathe again. I mean, properly breathe. So yeah, I, I, I love it. It's been a, a long, I can't even remember the last time I've had some of this, but it is fairly rare and hard to get. Uh, well, for me it is anyway, and it's nice to be able to have it again. Uh, and yeah, there's only three, six, nine, just 10 pieces, but it's nice to introduce you to crystals if you've never seen them before. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Chinese Larry Ma. I don't really like to call it that because it's very, it is different from Larry Ma. It's not the same energy at all, but it is incredibly beautiful and rare. So there you go. That's that's my interpretation as a healer on this crystal working with clients. And yes, I don't even know if I ever mentioned Tourette's before because it's fairly rare. But I did have one client, or maybe two, possibly two. And it definitely helped. My God, it helped so much. Same with um, any kind of issues with being addicted to something. It really does clear out that energy where you're not feeling the need for things as much. So there's a lot of balance within this crystal. A lot of healing. A lot of healing. Yeah, so I'm going to put these on the website now. I don't know how long they'll stay there, but maybe there's a piece for you. If not, go down to your local crystal store and ask for Hemi Mo... I can't remember. Hem... Hemi... Hemi Mo... Sorry, I can't remember. But anyway, you, you'll figure... You'll know it better than me. I'll look online anyway before I put it up. I always do. And make sure I uh, type the right name down for it. But there you go. Have a great day. Silly Mr. Bierski. Why don't you know your names of your crystals? <laughs>